Hi everyone, happy 2017. I thought I'd start the year off by showing you some different planners I'm using this year. And the first planner I'm going to use is the mini planner by the Happy Planner. This is the Happy Blooms mini planner and it measures four and a half by seven inches. And I'm going to be using this as my personal planner just to keep up with my weekly schedule and my daily to-dos. Like all the Happy Planners, each month is separated by a tab and you have your monthly view, then you have your weekly view. In the mini Happy Planner, the weekly views are horizontal and you can add your own inserts. You can also take out your pages by lifting from the top. They're really easy to take out and put in and you can cover up the holes and repunch them if you get one of the hole punches. I'm going to speed up the video now and just let you see each one of the monthly dividers. They have the cutest sayings and each month is themed with certain colors so the monthly spread and each one of the weekly spreads kind of coordinates with whatever color is chosen for that month. The last page of the Happy Planner is a note page. Now, unlike the Erin Condren Planner, the Happy Planner does not give you a lot of notes pages, but you can buy inserts to add some more. The next planner I'm using is the Big Happy Planner, and this is the Tranquility Planner. It measures 8.5 by 11 inches. It has the disc bound system just like the Classic Happy Planner and the Mini Happy Planner. If you're looking for a planner system that allows you to put your own 8.5 by 11 inserts in it, then this is definitely the planner system for you. One of the reasons that I chose the Tranquility Happy Planner was I loved the watercolor and hand-drawn illustration look to it. In fact, you can see the font looks like a hand-drawn, handwritten font, and I really like that because I love illustrating and I love watercoloring. Each month features a page for you to put important information this month, goals, important dates, appointments, notes, birthdays, special events, and a don't forget box. The monthly view boxes are about 4.6 centimeters squared and that's about 1 inch and 13 sixteenths of an inch. That's a really awkward measurement. The weekly spreads are set up like the classic Happy Planner Vertical or the Erin Condren with three boxes that you could use to section out your day or put specific items in each box. The boxes are a lot larger than the Erin Condren or Recollection Planners or the Happy Classic Planner. They measure about four inches tall and they're just one sixteenth of an inch shy of two inches wide. Each box has a header that's similar to the header of the classic planner except it is only about a quarter of an inch tall so it would take a very thin strip of washi to cover it or you would end up covering it with washi and then losing a little bit of your box. So now I'm going to speed up the video and let you see each one of those monthly spreads. This is the tranquility version so the color scheme for this one are light pinks, corals, light blues, aquas, and then lots of gold foiling throughout. I'm going to use my big happy planner for my Bible art journaling. There are a lot of different ways to study the Bible. My current favorite right now is to pick a verse each day. I've got two different options that I've used before. This one from Sweet Blessings and this one from Heidi St. John. I think I'm going to use the latter one because the topic is on contentment, which is my goal for this year. So what I do for each one is the first thing I do is I write out the scripture. I just use a small single subject notebook to write out my daily scriptures. Um, this one is for the lengthier scriptures so each section gets its own day. And then I pray about it and reflect on it and think about what it is that God really wants me to learn from that particular passage on this particular day. And then I just draw out and kind of sketch some ideas about that. I use a little bit of washi to decorate and then I also use my four favorite pens and I want to show those pens to you today. I really love the Faber-Castell Artist Pit Pens. They're my favorite because they're waterproof and they can write on a lot of different surfaces including paint. I have the SB Brush Tip. I also like the Medium Size Tip. And here I've zoomed in so you can see the different sizes of the nibs. The Small Nib. And then I also like the Extra Small Nib. And sometimes I have a hard time writing just because of the way I hold the pen at an angle, but I find that these really are the best. They work with watercolors and different forms of paint, and so I use these for all my journaling and art journaling needs.
The last planner that I'm using this year is this binder, personal size planner from Michaels. It's their Recollections brand. They have a huge supply of these little notebooks that can go in it for different purposes. It is a binder planner system, which I'm not a huge fan of because I find that the binder clips often get loose and you can see already that mine is starting to get a little loose and by the end of the year it will probably be driving me crazy. But I'm going to try it out this year and see how I like it. I do like their little dividers and I ended up buying the calendar book. It was kind of a flimsy book so I pulled the pages out and put them in my binder directly. There's a monthly and weekly spread and then there's a bunch of note pages included that you can also insert. So I'll just pull out one of those and you can see what the weekly spread looks like like it's basic it has the days of the week and a section for notes and then the other side shows one half of the monthly spread it's undated so you can use it whenever you want to now included in the actual binder was this pull out calendar which I really like because that's something that could be transferred from planner to planner you could use it as a perpetual birthday planner or something like that another book that I got was the goal planning kit because I'm trying to figure out what direction I want to take my creative journey so I'm kind of using the goals as a way to plan out my social media and blog post. It does have a section where you can kind of map out your goal, then a monthly goal breakdown and a weekly goal breakdown, which the pages look very similar. So what I plan on doing is putting down uh, my goal uh, post for that month and then marking if I've posted them to social media, that kind of stuff. I also like at the end of the month reasons why I want to be dot dot dot, where I can continue thinking about my creative journey. Now these pages were included with the binder planner itself, to-do section, graph paper, which I really like. I might buy some more of that, and then note pages. And I'm using this just to jot down some ideas of blog posts that I want to do, art pieces I want to do. Um, and then I took those extra note pages that were included in each book and put them in the back as well. The other recollections book I picked up was the Inspire book. I really liked this book for monthly reflections. You could put monthly insights, things that I'm grateful for, um, goals for the month. There's also a section for you to put things that you want to challenge yourself to do. What can you improve on? Uh, but what I liked most about the book was this Reasons to Be page. It gives front and back and for you to write out five different reasons you should be happy or healthy or imaginative. And it has that for each one of the months. Now I'm going to do a planner haul video soon, but I wanted to show something I picked up on Etsy uh, when I was shopping for Christmas gifts. And it was this little planner paper clip by Raising Up Rubies. I really love her shop. She has the cutest stuff, and it's a ginormous paper clip, perfect for marking your spot in your planner, although you could also use it as a bookmark. I love that she has a scripture, always be joyful, never stop praying, be thankful in all things. And this particular one has kind of purple colors to it. There's purple uh, in the scripture, and then there's a purple charm and a gold charm. And I thought that this would look really well with my planners. I'm probably not going to use this one for my mini planner because it's a very large paper clip, and so it kind of overwhelms the planner a little bit. Uh, you can see how it fits here on the planner. I'm going to use this actually for my Bible art journaling planner because I think it's perfectly sized for that one. Here's a few of the spreads that have shown up on my Instagram feed. You can follow me on Instagram at Christy Sheffield. I'll put the link below. And you can also subscribe for more updates. I hope you enjoyed seeing how I'm planning on using my planners this year. And I hope you have a great new year.